Guys, it's time to talk Inside Out 2. And it's not very often when... You know, we're living in a day and age of nostalgia right now. So it's happening very frequently that old franchises, old movies are getting sequels, characters are getting brought back all these years later. And... But it's usually very forced and very much just a cash grab, and it never lives up to the, the potential. And especially something like this with Inside Out 1 being one of the best Pixar movies, and definitely, I think, probably is my favorite Pixar movie still, because uh, I grew up with this film. This came out when I was a kid, and now for a sequel to come out almost a decade later the bar has been set pretty high. Those expectations are there. And you go into this very wary thinking like, oh, it's not going to be as good. It's like, there's no way it can live up to that potential of what the first film was. And like I said, I loved Inside Out 1. Bing Bong, love that guy. He was the heart of that film. I, I really, really adore Inside Out. But I'm going to be honest. I think I might like Inside Out 2 more. And this could also just be recency bias. I really struggle with that because I'll like watch a movie for the first time and like absolutely love it. And then a month later that you'll ask me again, it's like, yeah, I don't know. But I really do love Inside Out 2. I do think this is possibly my second favorite movie of the year so far after Dune Part 2. Uh, dethroning The Fall Guys, my second favorite film of 2024. But guys, Inside Out 2 was just everything... I wanted because it took all of the best parts of Inside Out 1 and elevated them and especially because like I said the first movie came out when I was a kid so a lot of the the deeper references I don't I didn't get so now that I'm an adult you know Riley has grown up kind of with me getting to see her in her teenage years it was highly relatable because I just went through that um it's a movie that's absolutely hilarious, laugh out loud funny at multiple moments, which was a little awkward for me because I was the only one in the theater except for this either mom or grandma and her son or grandson. So anytime I would laugh out loud, they would be the only ones hearing it, but it, it was still so great. But then on top of that, there's so many heartbreaking emotional moments here because of these new emotions that are introduced in this film because now that Riley's growing up now that she's a teenager she's going through puberty which was just so brilliant to include that in this film and the way that was demonstrated and th there's just so many things that are visualized so perfectly in the world of Inside Out I just absolutely love it and with these new emotions like I said they're more complex that is one of the reasons I love this film possibly even more than the first because everything is so much more complex. Even our original emotions from the first film. Joy, I honestly kind of hated in Inside Out 1 because she was just so annoying and so controlling, so manipulative. But here, she has complexities to her. She breaks down. It was fascinating. And some of the other characters in the first film, like Anger, I mean, he was funny, so I liked him. Fear, I liked it just because it was Bill Hader, and he's purple, my favorite color. Um, Disgust, you know, she was funny too. But here we actually get more time to spend with them, because I know especially in the first Inside Out film, our main focus was joy and sadness. So whenever we shifted focus over to the, the Anger disgust and fear trio, I was like, eh, just take me back to the main story. But here, I'm interested in all of these characters, everything that is going on here, especially our new emotions, because they, they just bring so much to the table, especially Maya Hawk as anxiety. What a character. I mean, I knew she would be good just because, you know, anxiety obviously is a very heavy emotion to be discussing in a Pixar film, but it's it's done so well. And while she is kind of having a, a villainous presence in this film, she makes good points. Like anxiety is highly relatable. I deal with a lot of anxiety in real life. So, so much relatability for me there. And the thing is, even though some of these, like I said, anxiety and some of these other new emotions are have sort of a villainous presence in this film, 
But what kind of the big message is, is that while that may be the case, Riley needs all of these emotions. We need all of these emotions in our mind. It's just the only time it becomes bad because anxiety, obviously, in today's day and age is very, there's a big awareness of anxiety and issues with anxiety. Um, So it's seen very often in a bad light and portrayed as a bad emotion to have, but it's not. It's something that's very natural. It's something that you need to have and will happen it's only bad when it takes control, when you are when you lose control of your emotions um, and one emotion is more in control than others, and that's what's kind of brought into play here as well. Um, so anxiety was just so good here. I loved all of the other new emotions as well. Envy, oh my god, I love Ayo Adebari. Um, one of my favorite actresses working today, and her voice work here is just absolutely hilarious i loved her character just so much fun uh we had paul walter hauser as embarrassment that guy i loved him as well he had a nice little character arc that we had on display on we was the only one that i really didn't care for um she's the boredom um she really didn't do much honestly um so i i didn't really care for her a whole lot um but th- this movie tackles some really um really serious topics um because again it is that the teenage years which like i said it was highly relatable for me um but it was so great to see that on display and in such a such an approachable way through this pixar film i think this is great like if this movie existed 10 20 years ago there would be so many more people probably doing better mentally in today's society uh this i think is going to be a crucial film um we had some other great new characters in here as well, um, like uh, Bluffy. Oh my god, I loved Bluffy. Absolutely hilarious. Ron Funches is such an underrated actor. He's a great comedian, um, such a fantastic voice actor. I really hope that he gets more work after this because he's so underrated. Uh, we also had uh, James Austin Johnson, uh, probably my favorite cast member currently on Saturday Night Live. He's so good, um, so I love seeing him here in this. And yeah, everything just comes together so perfectly. I mean, there, there's emotional moments, with, which some people have said like, oh, it didn't tug at my heartstrings like the first film did. And I will say maybe not as much, mainly because there's there's no bing bong in this film. But, but I still got emotional during points of this movie. And the animation style is absolutely beautiful. There are certain moments where we go into these new areas of Riley's mind and it's just like, wow, that is gorgeous. Um, yeah, I, I just really loved it. There, there's some great fun surprises in here as well that I hope nobody ruins for you. Um, obviously, I'm seeing this like a week or two after the movie released. Um, so not a whole lot was spoiled for me. There is a post credit scene as well, which was a little underwhelming, especially because there's a reveal that you thought was going to be made. And then the reveal is made, but it's not the reveal you thought it would be. Um, but... It, there's just so many great messages here. It's a fun film um, that I think, again, is really necessary um, for people in today's day and age. This is something we need to talk about. A Pixar film, making it, again, very approachable to talk about these emotions, especially something like anxiety and envy and embarrassment. Um, I think that's really great. So, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you see Inside Out 2? And what did you think about this film? Does it live up to the hype? Does it live up to your expectations after the first movie? I mean, again, first movie won an Oscar. So that's a high bar that had been set here. But honestly, I think Inside Out 2 surpassed it, at least for me. That's my opinion. And I think it it could also be an Oscar winner as well. We'll see. Uh, But for now, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Please drop a give enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button. So thank you today on everything goes on in the movie life.